So I recently just hit a pre-tax net worth of a hundred thousand dollars as a 16 year old kid and in this video i'll be sharing my whole story and how i went from you know this kid with no money to making my first hundred thousand dollars at the age of 16. all i ask in return is that you hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel and without any further ado let's get some context on how it's actually happened so yeah to give you guys some context you know i came in my first year of high school year seven is what they call it in australia that's basically the first year um, in high school and you know, I was just broke kid with no money to my name. Um, you know, I really wanted to try, find a way to make money. And I found that through actually, you know, someone else who was selling lollies at my school. Candy, same thing. Um, so I was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna try sell lollies at my school and see if like, it can actually work. You know, the person at the time that was doing it was doing it at a much lower scale. They were making around, you know, I don't know, 10 bucks a day or something. So you know what, I'm gonna try it. So I went to the wholesale store, you know, where basically all the confectionery is and I got these zombie chews. Now, on the screen as you'll see, you know what zombie chews are if you're Australian. If not, you'll probably know um, in America by now. Um, but yeah, you know, we had Zappos, we had zombie chews, we had camel bowls, you know, we had all this stuff. Um, and I was just started selling it for, you know, a month or two. And you know, I made around a thousand dollars a month from that at school. Um, so then bang, you know, I was already at $2,000 on my journey and um, what happened was I actually had to stop because the canteen shut me down. <laughs> you know, I, had to, I couldn't do it anymore. The canteen wasn't making as much money as they hoped and um, yeah, that's why I had to kind of stop that and I had to come to an end. And then that's how I kind of got started, you know, I started selling lollies at school and now the next phase of my, you know, kind of my journey is I had a friend, you know, he was working at McDonald's at the time. Um, and he was making, you know, 10 bucks an hour and I'm just like, wow, you know, that's huge. So I decided, you know, see if I can get a job through him. I applied next month later, you know, I'm working at McDonald's, you know, working there, kind of hustling, working those, you know, those weekends after school, rushing there, trying to get there on time um, and just really putting the work in and the hours. I think I was doing whilst in school around 30 hours a week, most weeks. And then on weekends, I was doing, you know, around eight hours, both weekends, not partying, no social life, just pure hustle, really wanted to make the bag. Um, I don't know what there was this succession of money at this young age. I don't know what it was. I just think I wanted to be free. And I just saw a lot of people online, you know, making money. I'm like, you know, why can't that be me? So that's where I kind of got into this phase where, you know, fast forward two years of working at McDonald's, I made my first 20,000. Now that's where it kind of got for me. We're like, I want to make more. So that's where it comes to another phase where I wanted to start making money online. And that's where I did my research, did my YouTube, you know, did my search, tried every single business model out there. You know, I tried, I tried Amazon FBA, you know, I tried Shopify dropshipping, did eBay dropshipping, trading, you know, trading signals, trading crypto, everything, affiliate marketing, you know, the list goes on real estate. And I found what works for me, and that was dropshipping. Now, I've done dropshipping for three years now in my time, and it's been something that's changed my life. Apart from any other business model, not only lowest risk, um, it's just been kind of the one that's kind of a lot more easier for me to learn. Um, but it, it came at a cost, you know, I lost a lot of money along the way. I had to find out what works and what doesn't work. So that was kind of the struggle, but I knew this is exactly what I need to do to move forward if I want to get to, you know, 100K, $1 million and everything like that. So that's where that kind of came in. So as I said, you know, started selling loads in school, started um, working at McDonald's and now obviously started that drop shipping journey. And that's where it kind of compounded from there. You know, I was struggling. I made around $5,000 in my first month in profit. That was take home. Um, I don't like sales. When people say sales, I just say profit. Um, so I made around 5K there and then, you know, just kept going 10K, 10K, 20, 30, just kind of kept com kind of compounding. Um, and, you know, you're like, oh, once I get to $10,000 a month, you know, I'm happy at that. I'm happy at that. But no, that's not the case. You know, you want more, you want more, you want more again. So that's how it kind of came about. Um, and then lo and behold, you know, eight months later, I've already hit my first 100K. And if I'm like to myself, well, if I want to become a millionaire, you know, I've only got to do that 10 more times. So if you guys want to see another video on how I made my first million, drop it in the comments below. I'd definitely be open to sharing that kind of side of the story as well. And do bear in mind when I'm saying, you know, when I came into high school in year seven, that was around, um, just trying to get some context, that was probably around, you know, 2018. Um, and then, you know, Macca's was kind of that, you know, 2019, 2020. So that's where that kind of journey has been. And then over these last three years, that's where it really has taken off over obviously being consistent and everything like that. So um, it wasn't an easy trip. You know, I had, I had you know, points in my career when I was kind of doing dropping where I wanted to quit. I wanted to call it a day. It got really tough, you know. My payment providers went down, took away everything from me, everything like that. 
Um, and that's just business, you know? One thing I learned is that when times get tough, that's when you can't quit. You've got to continue, you've got to go deep, you've got to continue, you can't hold back. And that's what I kind of learned as um, when it gets tough, you've got to really dig deep and stay in the moment. So that's where it kind of clicked for me as well. Um, and another thing that kind of led me to, you know, getting to 100K so fast, because not you know, people make 100K a year, not really in eight months. So for people, especially my age, you know, people are partying, you know, they're not really focusing on this side of thing. Um, so that was kind of also my motivation, you know, that wanted me to keep going, um, especially this young. And I think it's just awesome to see what you can achieve, you know? I was at the lowest point in my life. You know, if you're watching this, it's possible no matter what age you are, no matter where you live, it's actually possible. Another thing that I learned is that there's no get rich quick schemes out there. There's no magic pill that's gonna, you know, fill your pockets up overnight. It's gonna take time. And the way that you're gonna find your piece of the pie in either e-commerce or the entrepreneur world is by providing value. Now, if you can't provide value, no one's gonna purchase your services, your goods, or anything like that. So as long as you're providing value, you're definitely gonna be able to achieve, obviously being consistent and everything like that. This is not for everyone, you know? You've gotta be really putting the work in, doing the right things. A lot of people are putting the work in by doing the wrong things. So I learned that you've gotta implement the right things and be consistent at those things. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my story and how I went from, you know, a broke kid, you know, with selling lollies and now he's making, you know? over $50,000 a month at the moment. Like I said, if you wanna see a video on how I made my first million, definitely open to making a video on that. You know, with my dropshipping stores, you know, account goes down, gets banned, payment processes are gone. And that's where I was on the brink of just quitting and just say, you know what, I'm happy to work at McDonald's and make, you know, MK a month. But yeah, in all seriousness, um, it's tough. Without the right guidance, it's really tough. And on that though, that's really it for this video. Um, if you like what you saw, you got some inspiration, consider liking and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.